need to applaud them. They have really made the place so melodious. This is a taste of the things to come. Thank you very much. We want to specially welcome each one of you to today's special event. That is the dedication of the Academy Headquarters building. We would want to start with an opening prayer by the most reverend Professor Emmanuel Asante. Let us pray. Almighty God and our Heavenly Father, we give you praise and thanks for this occasion. A day you have made and you have set apart for us to dedicate this edifice built to promote the work of the Academy. We believe that we cannot do without you. And so in humility we come before the throne of grace in the name of Jesus, your son, praying that you will grace this occasion with your presence, that the spirit of the Lord will take full control. And that Lord, as we dedicate this building, it will not just be a mere formality, but that indeed your glory will descend. And that you will help the academy and all those who will work here grace to do things that will enhance the development of our nation and not only Ghana but Africa and the world as a whole. So be with us. Take full control over the program as well as the lectures that follows. Do glorify yourself, Lord, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. We shall continue straight with the program by welcoming the president, Professor Abba Bentel, and them to opening address. Thank you very much. In fact, if I say I'm not happy, I'll be telling a big lie. I'm very, very happy today that this building is being dedicated. And who wouldn't be happy if you are just sitting and then a big building like this is handed over to you? This is where the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences find ourselves. That whereas for some professional groups, uh, the members have to be levied to put up a place for themselves. We have had this given to us entirely free by the government and people of Ghana. Now, I use the word in plural because this building was being talked about when it pleased the Lord that I should be a fellow of the academy in year 2003. And it appeared to me at that time that most of the discussions centered about a building. So we went back and forth until last year when the president, the then president of the country commissioned this building. So when I looked up the reference, um, King Solomon's palace took uh, 13 years to build. And when I looked that up and I compared it to our 2003 to 2016, that made 13 years. So really, it is a palace. And of course, it was only later that from Professor Alote's reference, he said that the Osajifu actually promised the scientific and learned society in the country a palace, a palace of science. This is in the record. It is not something that anybody has uh, dreamt of doing. The quotation that Professor Alote has given in his uh, reflections about the palace of science. 
So palace this building is, and palace it will remain. We thank God for this. And I'm truly also happy that the Methodist University College of Ghana, MUCG Choir, has made time to join us. We have at the back the leaders of the Methodist University College Choir. Mr. Kras Atta, please, uh, you and your colleagues, if you can please let us see you standing, then we will acknowledge you. And thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, these are the brains behind the modern music from the Methodist Church. And so you find that together with very reverend Professor Samuel Jedu and our immediate past presiding bishop, today we are holding a Methodist Mass. It's not exactly a high Mass because I didn't check whether we merit the giving of communion. But I hope that next time the academy falls on the Methodist Church, it will be possible to include communion so that we have a truly high Methodist Mass. Thank you all very much. And we are happy for this occasion to be able... I have seen a colleague, Catholic, uh, in the audience, and maybe he's complaining in his heart that uh, do Methodist people have Mass? Yes, we do have Mass. And next time, we hope to have a high mass. Uh, so it's a happy day, honestly. It's a happy day, and we uh, are grateful to the Lord. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much. We shall continue by singing, led by the choir, hymn one. That is... Methodist hymn book 896. Now praise we great and famous men. It's not gender sensitive. <laughs> we shall sing all seven verses.
Thank you very much. We shall continue with the program. Um, at this moment, we um, would have remarks from the Get Fund administrator. If he or his representative is here, or the Director General of CSIR, either he or the representative. It looks as if they are not here. We shall then continue by having the choir sing for us, Adom Ne Ehumobro. See 
much the choir. We shall proceed with the program. And at this moment, um, I can't see the Honorable Minister for Education here. I would like to ask if there's any represent. <laughs> I would like to ask if there's anybody that he sent to give us any message. Okay. In the absence of that, we will then proceed to item number eight. That is the dedication of the building. And this will be done by Most Reverend Professor Emmanuel Asante and Very Reverend Professor J. Kwabina Asamwa Jedu. I've been trying to find out where the J is. I've, I've searched that. I, I can't see what the J stands for. I'll find out. <laughs> so we will hand over to the officiants. Uh, Drum or song by the Sanford Johnson. Samuel Jadu will offer a dedicatory prayer after which I pronounce the benediction uh, blessing on the building. Psalm 127 verse 1 reads Unless the Lord builds the house its builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stand guard 
in vain. We're doing what we are doing today because we believe that we cannot do without God. And our Lord Jesus Christ said, for apart from me there is nothing you can do. And so we dedicate this building into the hands of the Lord and in doing so, we say to him, we believe that we cannot do without you, O God. Let us pray. Eternal God and source of all good things, we are before your presence this afternoon and we acknowledge you as the source of creation. We are also the work of your hands, for you formed us in your own image, and so it is in you that we live and move and have our being. We want to thank you for your goodness and your mercy that have brought us thus far. We thank you for making it possible for the government and allied agencies to support the cause of the academy in bringing this dream to fruition. We thank you for the wisdom that you gave the architect and the builders to be able to deliver this beautiful and wonderful edifice for the work of the academy. And so as we acknowledge you as a source of all good things, we also stand in your name to dedicate this building. In the name of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we declare this wonderful building now truly, genuinely, fully dedicated for the use of the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences and all that it stands for in this country. We pray that from this place, much knowledge will be dis disseminated along, um, around this land so that we can build a country that we are all proud of. Spirit of living God, set this building apart from every profane use and let everything that is done here bring you glory honor and praise. We ask this in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. And now unto the Lord's gracious keeping mercy we dedicate this building. Praying that the presence of the Lord will be felt in all that we do. The scientist will think after God's thought and that those in arts will promote your glory in their disciplines. May this building redound to your glory and bring blessing to the nation Ghana, Africa, and the world as a whole. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much. Now the building is open for use. Um, before we continue with singing the uh, next team in two, we'd want to acknowledge the project team. We believe that uh, this thing, people thought about it, they also planned it and worked over here. And I think this is a time that we should acknowledge them. I would invite the uh, consulting architect to uh, come and introduce his uh, team, and then we'll just acknowledge them. Prof, okay.
president of the academy, past presidents of the academy, council members, distinguished fellows of the academy. It's a very emotional day for me personally. I would like the project team to please rise. My turn limited, please. Please come forward. Mr. Ken Anewa is the managing director of Mind 10 Limited. Ken, give away, please. This is the first major job the company has done in Accra. They've been working up country, UDS, and several other campuses, and we decided that we should give them a chance. And I think you agree. It's been difficult, but I think they haven't let us down. Shall we give them? Yeah, please. A short notice, well, my turn is accompanied by his project, uh, <laughs> QS and site agent. He's been on site, even he's on site now, because after we hand over the building, there are little things and corrections which have to be done. And I think this is part of what has been a very stressful thing for all, because it's a normal point in architecture and construction, that when a building starts being used, that's when you begin to see where things have to be repaired, and we have a year for that. And I think we are happy that at least we can use the building sitting even in this space. So my team, thank you very much. Most of my team members are not here, but for those who know, in construction, it isn't just the architect who conceives and draws. He works with colleagues in all the major engineering professions. And believe me, the coordination involved and the work each has to put. And we had five different professional offices, each employee nothing less than five consultants. In other words, we had over 30 persons working on this project, not as contractors, but as engineers, country surveyors, architects. Architects, the architectural team is not here, but led by yours truly, I have colleagues who couldn't be here today. Engineer Kwesi Akono on my left, a very seasoned engineer for Grid Consult. Where is Moses? Two of them are here. The same team did the College of Physicians and Surgeons, so you can see their pedigree. I think their CV has really bloated now for such projects. Great consult, thank you very much. Then the electrical engineer, they are the mechanical engineering services or mechanical and electrical services which sometimes we don't appreciate. We've been using the auditorium close to two years and we've been using this building and you can believe me, to get all of this in place and nothing failing calls for a lot of planning and carefulness. I was told informally that some were wondering what will happen in terms of telecommunications, computers and so on. For goodness sake, we have all these things here. Modern buildings are not just like what you ask a draftsman to do. We have server rooms on every floor, and if the service and the equipment is put in, all you need to do is just have your PC plug in. Same with all the other electrical services. The mechanical services you see directly because you see the ACs working. So Rohi, Brian, I, I think your colleagues are not here, but He's representing Rohi Engineering. They were in charge of the electrical and mechanical services. Shall we please give them? <laughs> the quantity surveyors, the mechanical engineers, and so on. 
it was as such you no know, season. I was telling the president of the academy that on her behalf, I think it's fair that when buildings are being dedicated or commissioned, we should see the faces of the consultants because when something starts going wrong, like what I believe I've gone through with the academy, I think you should know that it isn't a one-man show, but there are colleagues I could easily also bring and get criticized together with. We prayed nothing like that would happen, but as I said, we had a huge team, and some couldn't come today because I just told them yesterday that I have sought the permission of the president of the academy for them to be here so that we can acknowledge them. Thank you very much, colleagues, and well done, please. It isn't in the program, but with the permission again of the President and Honorary Secretary, page 19 of the brochure tells us what is in the building. From the auditorium, floor by floor, then coming here to this main building, floor by floor, room by room. Until we go to the main lecture, my own personal invitation is that let's feel free to explore the building. Whatever you read, you can go and find out yourself. There are two passenger lifts, taking eight passengers. They go all the way to the rooftop. And to me, personally, the two spaces I like in this building is this atrium and the landscaped area. I'm an outdoor person, and I'd rather be outdoor than indoor. Then the rooftop, too, if you see the photo of the rooftop in the evenings, you see a 360-degree view of Accra. So on my own behalf of my colleagues, through the grace of God, we are pleased for the Academy to have given us this opportunity to serve you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We shall proceed by singing hymn two, led by the choir, after which the most reverend Professor Emmanuel Asante will give us the closing prayer and benediction.
God, you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. We started with you, and we are closing with you. Knowing that you've granted us your presence, that you have blessed this building which we have dedicated to you. As we finish this session, first session, and move to the next stage of the talk, and as others might want to look around, continue to be with us. A humble prayer is that this academy will be blessed to do the very things for which you instituted it. So, Father, we pray, be with all of us. And those who, for some reason, may want to go back, take them to their various destinations peacefully. In the name of the Father, we pray. And the blessings of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with all of us now and forevermore. Amen. A song even as we leave and uh, it's not going to be hallelujah chorus they have their own song that they would want to sing so over to you choir <laughs> just a minute. i hear there's refreshment just uh, on the outside uh, in the garden in the garden so please just feel free to, to be there <laughs>